so we finally got that night raid versus the Jaegers. Let's go. But before we jump into that, I just got to say one thing. In the beginning of this episode, with the shit that said you pulled, with killing those people off her own judgment, she is beyond off her rocker. And to be honest, that character is starting to get me just like, oh my gosh, can anyone, I don't give a shit if it's Lobok, anyone kill this bitch because she is taking it into her own hands and taking this law thing to a whole new level. Maybe with Shetty you could say, okay, I know she's a part of this Night Raid group. It's against the rules. You know, she needs to die. And even then, Shetty was a decent person. But whatever. She didn't have all the circumstances figured out. But what she did to those three bandits, and I'm glad that they're not censoring anything. We don't got no Terra from Mars up in this bitch with the censorship. But when she took those three bandits and then had her little fucking puppy bite them in half, and then the other girl was begging, saying, please, they forced me, I have proof, and she still didn't do it? No, 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 no. to you, you need to die, and you need to die ASAP, ASAP. Let's go. So we get little hints of foreshadowing of apparently a past between the agenda and SDEF. We don't know what it is yet. Maybe they served in the same forces. Maybe they, you know, met once upon a time. Maybe they were best friends once upon a time. So that was definitely interesting to see because she's pretty much the leader of the Jaegers and the leader of the combat force on that side. And the agenda is the leader of Night Raid and all these people on this side. So to see that. Whatever relationship they had at one point, whether they were sworn enemies or best friends, they did have one at some given point and went off to make these great armies, so to speak, to fight each other. And it's like, yeah, I really want to dive into that past and see how they know. They're so familiar with each other, so they either fought a lot or they were really close. We got a new opening this week, and for the most part, it was cool. I liked the visuals. Song was all right as well. To be honest with you, it's almost the same thing, not sounding wise or looking wise but i just feel almost exactly the same way i felt about opening one and its visuals it just looks good but it's not really like right now hooking me it could be later because i'm that type of person maybe a song and a visual might not grab me immediately but then later i'll absolutely be obsessed with it so you never know but as of right now i feel exactly the same way i felt about opening one it's like oh it's really enjoyable that's pretty much it now i understand the need for the fan service and in that aspect the way it was done cool Definitely, like, if you're using fan service a part of the plot and not just for the sake of, hey, look at these, then I'm all for it. But it was really, was it that necessary to see her for that long? Like, them just chilling on an island in bikinis and teasing tops to me? Because the whole point of them doing that, in case you kind of missed it, was basically to stir people up like, oh, shit, Night Raiders together and grab as much attention as possible, which... You have a bunch of busty women in bathing suits. That's kind of how you grab attention. So in that aspect, it was like, okay, yeah. It's definitely a good thing they worked in into the plot. But yeah, it kind of took a bit of time of us just seeing them in bikinis. And it's like, yeah. And with Tatsumi's character, sometimes I definitely got a question. Is he legit about some of the things he says? Because when he stood up after thinking and said, no, yes, I can do it 100%. Based on Wade being able to do it 100% in his mind, I think he might be overestimating his own ability in a sense of wanting to do something like if he saw kurome right there and she looks identical to her sister practically just a younger version would he really be able to kill kurome i don't know i i don't 100 percent buy what tatsumi saying just because wave seems like he got everything together that doesn't necessarily mean that you got everything together and that you'll be able to pull the trigger when it's time and overall the setup for the fight begins at the end of the episode they met up we got them it's like Holy shit. Although, we don't have 100% of the Jaegers, so it's not going to be an all-out war. It's basically just three people. What was it? Bowles, Kurome, and Wave. And Wave got knocked the fuck back, so it's just Kurome and Bowles. And learning a little bit more about Kurome's ability in this one, where she can, like, you know, revive anything. And she revives some giant ghoul. Yeah, a ghoul <laughs> to fight on their side. It's like, Kurome is going to be one hell of a force to be reckoned with. And... I'm wondering if Akame could pull the trigger as well. Was she bullshitting? Because you can definitely see that she does legitimately care for her sister. And she's not completely closed out regarding her sister. So I'm like, will you be able to do it? Will you like, I don't know. Great setup at the end of the episode though. Very good setup. 
where they're about to fight, you know, at least three of the Jaeger members. So we're finally clashing with them. And who knows, maybe s Duff will show up at the end. A bit slow pace in certain areas of the episode, mainly a lot of planning. Like, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And in that aspect, it's like, okay, it's good that we're definitely getting some planning. So it's not just automatic chaos or anything but it was a little bit slow paced in certain areas overall still a very good episode very enjoyable and we moved things along quite nicely i mean we're already fighting some of the jaeger but definitely arose a lot of questions like what happened with s def and agenda in the past and will these people be able to pull the trigger when it comes down to it mine kind of fucked up i'm like damn mine is it that mine fucked up though or is it that kurome so good you gotta ask yourself that did mine fuck up or is kurome just like with these fucking six and seven senses. It's because she's Kurome. Fairy tale reference. And yeah, again, very good episode. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Overall thoughts on everything. Any predictions you may have for anime only viewers. And what are you excited to see? Who you think is going to fall? But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that'd be awesome. I'm Fanel World. And as always, people, have an awesome day. Night Raid versus Jaegers. Let's go.